at the airport right now and apparently a uh, Pentagon is here. Uh, who the hell is Pentagon? Huh? I don't think that his name is Pentagon. There's a guy? Yeah. So you, so you know who he is? No, I think it's a Korean singer. A Korean singer, okay. Man, Korean singers, they got bring all the, bring all the girls to the yard. What's up you guys? So on my way back to home and uh, yeah, I have a five hour layover in Korea. Hopefully I can get out of the airport. The goal is to meet up with some, uh, some of my very good Korean friends over there and I wonder if like if I can get out. So we'll see what happens. But today I pretty much had like one of the most fantastic catch Pokemon days in Thailand here. But check out what I got. Can't believe we got it. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I got it. Oh no, I gotta use the Goro. Gotta go, gotta use the Goro. That's right for this one. Oh, that's why I gotta bend and run away because we're going fast. One, two, three. Yeah, I can't believe we got a shiny Magnemite this time. After that, I hatched a Riolu. That's right. I'm about to leave Thailand and I got a Riolu and a shiny. Magnemite. Oh. I've been trying to hatch a Riolu since I came to Thailand and then on the way to the airport I caught a shiny Eevee. Oh my god. Serious. Are you serious? Wow. Oh well. Uh, it's on board right now. Yeah, let's go on plane. Let's go. Because we don't eat that for a main dish. Oh, it's mostly side, side dish. dish. I think I've seen a cream yeah. side dish. I made it out of the airport just safely. To the Lily. Hi. Harry Potter. Hi. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Bye. Till next time. Alright, just got out of the airport security terminal and I'm back inside the airport. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Lily and Hemi and her husband. Thanks a lot, you guys. I really appreciate you guys coming have lunch with me. See you guys all soon, alright? I promise my next lower won't be a layover. I'll try to stay for a few days and help take care of your baby. What? Nice. So, I've been having some good hatches right now. Whoa, sick. I just hatched my Badoo, a Badoo, Badoo, Badoo. All right, yeah, it's good luck right now today. And a shout out to the Mystic page. Thanks for watching my videos, I appreciate it. Alright, find one much better. No fucking way, dude. What the fuck? Two shiny EVs in a day? That's insane! I, w I want to yell right now, but I can't. I'm in the airport. But damn, no fucking way! I got two shiny EVs. I got one on the way to the airport in Thailand. And I got another one. Let's see, I got a Korean shiny EV. Oh my god, dude, yeah! That's f***ing sick! guys back home now sorry about being a little late jet lag hit me hard yesterday and I was pretty much out of it the entire day so 
Let's jump into it. Let's talk about Meltan because I don't know when my jet lag energy is going to dip. I shouldn't be drinking coffee right now, but I am because I want to finish the video for you guys. So Meltan is a mythical Pokemon with special attributes. If you don't have it, that's okay because we can still get Meltan with the field research quest. My best advice right now is to finish it as soon as possible because certain attributes of the quest require you to catch a certain type of Pokemon which might be a little harder to find in your area. Alright, so first page is pretty easy. All you gotta do is spend 5 Pokestops or Poke Gems and then you have to catch 10 Pokemon and then you have to transfer 5 Pokemon. With that, you get 1000 Stardust, 10 Pokeballs, and 1 Incubator. Page 2, earn 2 candies walking in buddies. So find Pokemon that have 1 kilometer to earn a candy, like a Magikarp. Togekiss, if you guys have it. Make 10 great throws and hatch 3 eggs. You know, sometimes I don't like to use super incubators on 2Ks, but if it's just to push it out to get to the next page, I'll do it. With that, you get 2,000 Stardust, 2 Lucky Eggs, and 1 TM. So for page 3, you have to catch a Ditto, Battle 2 times, and Raid 2 times. So for catching a Ditto, this is what I meant by trying to finish this quest by the end of this event, because for this event, they have a Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee promotion where you can find a ditto research quest and that is to make an excellent throw. Now when you find this quest, you have to make sure that the quest says let's go make an excellent throw. With that, you'll encounter a Pidgey and then it'll become a ditto. So I like this aspect because a lot of people were going insane with the Mew quest because although it's supposed to be challenging, dittos are just incredibly hard to find without a map. So this kind of like incentive to like go find other Pokestops, I like that a lot. I think it's really cool. Uh, it adds to a new dynamic instead of repetitive kind of like catching this Pokemon. You have to go find the research quest. So that's really cool. Remember, find a research quest that says, let's go make an excellent throw. All right, on to page four. You have to earn five candies walking a buddy. So again, find a Pokemon that has one kilometer distance to earn a candy for your buddy. Afterwards, you have to catch five steel type and five electric type. Again, during this time frame, you'll see a little more Magnemites than you normally would see. I got lucky to, and I got my shiny Magnemite on the first one that I touched in Thailand. That's one that I encounter. That's one I touch. No, change that. That sounds kind of weird. Anyways, if you don't see any Magnemites in your area by chance, you don't, you just don't have any spawn points in your area. Hopefully, there'll be a gym in your area with a Magnemite to be a raid boss. So you can either hatch an electric kid, or you can find an electric buzz nest, or you can do a Jolteon or electric buzz raid. On to page 5, you have to evolve a Grimer, catch 5 Gulpins or Slug Mugs, and you have to make 20 great throws. Alright, page 6 is uh, it's not too bad. You have to evolve a Magnemite, catch 5 Executes. If you can't find any Executes, the field research that requires you to hatch an egg will give you an Execute. And lastly, you have to battle in 10 raids. The reward for page 6 is 1 Silver Pineapple, 1 Metal Coat, and 10 Ultra Balls. Make sure you save that metal coat for the next page. And for page 7, you have to evolve a Drowsy and a Scyther, and you have to catch a Cubone. Pretty quick and easy. And the last page, which is page 8, you have to catch 2 Armonites or Kabuto, catch 2 Anorith or Lilip, and you have to catch an Aerodactyl. Again, this brings back to finishing this quest by the end of this event, because how often do you really find an Aerodactyl? I'm still on my hunt for a shiny Aerodactyl since Go Fest, so I'm gonna get it for sure. Hopefully. Not for sure, but hopefully. I'm gonna get that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright, so by the end of that quest, you get to catch your Meltan. However, it takes about 400 candies to get a Mel Metal. Without Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, it's going to slow you down a little bit because you, know, you have to have a lot of rare candies or well, yeah, yeah, pretty much that's the only way to do it without Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. But good news, you can get your own mystery box from any of your friends that have the game. So basically you just connect, uh, if you're close to a, a Nintendo Switch, you can connect to it just like how you connect to your Go Plus, your Gacha, or your Pokeball Plus. It's gonna give you an icon for a Nintendo Switch. You just click on it and then it'll give you the option to trade any Pokemon. Well, not any Pokemon, only kinds of Pokemon that you've caught in a while. And then once you trade a Pokemon, you'll get some bonus points and then you'll get a mystery box. The mystery box, think of it as kind of like an incense, but only for Meltan. The average that I've been seeing online is about 10 Meltans per mystery box. If you use a pineapple, you get six candies. But here's a, it's kind of like a little thing you have to remember. If you trade with somebody, it's possibly a four extra candies for Meltan. But you know, normally if you go hang out with people in your area, it's probably just about one candy, so extra two candies for Meltan. 
Um, so the mystery box only works one time every seven days, or at least every eight on on the eighth day, uh, you can use it again. But you have to trade another Pokemon to be able to use that mystery box again for 30 minutes. Oh, and one more thing. Whoever has a Switch can give unlimited mystery boxes to anybody who wants to trade a Pokemon into that person's Switch. So if you are the lucky winner of a Nintendo Switch from Dago Hills, or you got your own Nintendo Switch, anybody who you encounter, you can also give them a mystery box. So good for you that you're gonna get a whole bunch of Pokemon and you can demand whatever Pokemon you want from them. Not too bad. I would say I like it that they gave you that, that they gave us this option for those who want Meltan and Mel Metal and they're not forcing us to buy Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. All the footage you see of Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee trade to Pokemon Go is from Pogo Tips. He is an amazing YouTuber from Malaysia. Check out his channel out. I like his channel because I'm always interested in the people and the communities in different countries. So to see him in Malaysia kind of go around it's just really cool and he gives a lot of good tips. Thanks a lot Dennis. Appreciate it man. Also Thanks to Ron for sending me a video. I appreciate you using your special trade to help me out, show everyone that trading a Mel Tan is possible. And I don't see why trading a Mel Metal wouldn't be possible. Uh, along with that, you can also put Mel Metal or Mel Tans in gems. Whoever has a Switch can give unlimited mystery boxes to anybody who wants to trade a Pokemon into that person's Switch. So if you are the lucky winner of a Nintendo Switch from Dago Hills, or you got your own Nintendo Switch, anybody who you encounter, you can also give them a mystery box. So good for you that you're gonna get a whole bunch of Pokemon and you can demand whatever Pokemon you want from them. All right, good luck everybody to get your Mel Tan. If you guys have seen my videos on my travel vlogs uh, to Japan and Thailand, comment below, let me know what you guys think of my travel vlogs along with Pokemon Go. A challenge for me because to travel, be with my girlfriend, relax, and video edit. I haven't done that since I started pretty much YouTube. I started YouTube in Thailand about seven months ago. And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button for all things Pokemon Go related tips and tricks. I will see you guys next time. I'm tired, I'm jet lagged. It's gonna be a long day, night, oh god, I hate your leg. Peace out. Uh, 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 come on. Come on. Watch out. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It was a cutie. It was a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgot to show you guys my new setup. So, um, uh, this is kind of like my new softbox. Um, it's pretty fucking ghetto inside. I just I don't even want to show you guys how ghetto it is. Just right now, for the camera, we can't pick it up, so it looks nice, and I, I think it worked out pretty well. And I finally installed my pretty much uh, my insulator sound. It's looking more professional. Um, what I had before was my futon bed hanging up, but when I got back here, it pretty much collapsed, and uh, because I only had it on two nails. Um, that it didn't hit a stud, so it was just pretty much just drooping down slowly and pretty much the time frame all was gone, it just dropped down, so um, I had to finally set this up and uh, I'll probably order some more later, but right now, um, I like it, I like it, it looks more professional.